Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Morgan. It would mean so much to me if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel to help me continue to grow it. So without further ado, I want to get to the video. Uh, also, if you're new here, I'm a sophomore at Loyola University in Chicago. And that is kind of what our video is about today. So I have an iPad has a case on it right now a light pink case i have the pink ipad air with the apple pencil and then i have the macbook air and i'm going to give you guys kind of like a compare contrast which one's better type of deal um so that like if you're going to college or even just a high school student i can give you guys kind of an overview of what i prefer and what i use each one for Getting started, I, I've i had a MacBook since, oh gosh, my freshman year of high school, like a long time. This one's newer, this one. I think I got January 2019 or January 2020. I can't remember, I've had it so long. Um, but yeah, I bought this one first and then um, my iPad I've had for about a year now. I got it last December, so December 2020 and i have been very surprised at how much i reach for my ipad so getting started i'm going to talk about the macbook first because i think everyone is just a little bit more familiar with using a macbook for school so a macbook what i use this for is um a lot of files so a lot of professors like to use like microsoft word document files everything that you do on a mac it's so much easier to convert like certain file types like pdf microsoft word um what else do we work with i mean pngs for like pictures or stuff like that pdf yeah so it's just it's really easy when working with files and also if you do any type of video or picture editing um i use this to edit all of my youtube videos i would not be able to do that easily on my ipad also, um, obviously a MacBook just has like a larger screen to work with. It's like more comfortable. Um, yeah, it's heavier than my iPad, a lot more bulky, but since I have the Air, it's pretty thin. Um, it's not that heavy. And yeah, so I really enjoy, um, I would say I enjoy my MacBook a good amount of the time. I actually don't even use it every day at college, which is crazy because some people, um, like to bring their MacBook to every class. I personally bring my iPad to every class. So let me tell you this right now. If you like your notes handwritten, I would say lean towards the iPad. If you like to type your notes, lean towards the MacBook. You can't um, like hand write your notes on a MacBook. Like it's all typing, which a lot of times saves time, but it's not as uh, versatile. So like if you're like my statistics class, it's so much better using my iPad for notes. So I would say notes is a big thing. Um, also, I just feel more comfortable taking like online tests or quizzes on my MacBook. Um, just cause it feels like more comfortable, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's overall my MacBook. As you can see, I have cute little stickers on it. Um, yeah, so moving on, we have my iPad. It's so light, very thin. Um, my Apple Pencil actually is magnetic to the side of this. So like if I didn't have the case on it, my Apple Pencil would still stick to it. Um, if you love to handwrite your notes, I love using my iPad. I bring my iPad to every class. I can still get to documents and websites and anything for a class that I may need. Um, one of my favorite um, like things the iPad does is it actually um, splits like screens so I can have like two apps open at the same time. So like if you're watching a lecture or like you're reading a document online and you need to take notes, then you can have the notes open separately to it so it's just really cool and yeah so um the apple pencil writes really easily and it can handle like pressure so if you're doing calligraphy anything like that um it works well for that one thing that i use my ipad for a lot is like 
you can download any documents from the internet and like highlight them, write on them. So it's so easy for annotating. I personally use the app Notability. I love using it. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, obviously I'm going to insert some videos to kind of show you guys how they all work. But overall, like I don't think you can really go wrong with either of them. I think a map book is necessary um, for like files and like if you type a lot, iPad if you're more um, artistic or you like um, like to handwrite your notes, um, I would say go iPad. If you have the financial capability to get both like I did, I would get both. I mean, I, I use my iPad every day. I use my MacBook some of the time, but I feel like a MacBook is necessary for college. So it's kind of difficult. So I would say if anything, get the MacBook because it's always necessary for classes. However, if you have the financial capability, then get an iPad with the MacBook, if that makes sense. So anyways, um, I also wanted to say that the Apple Pencil is a separate charge, but the iPad is useless without the Apple Pencil. And that may sound kind of dramatic, but like that's how I do everything on my iPad. I always have my Apple Pencil and I'm always using it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. If you guys have any questions about like my opinion on either or like how I use mine, how I use them in a day, just let me know and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah.